All right. Um, today we are going to be watching season two, episode five of The Walking Dead, titled Chupacabra. Um, no idea what this episode, like the title, like all of them have, like I said at the end of the last one, like a lot of these have had like titles and stuff that like kind of play on what goes on in the episode, right? Like obviously. I don't know what Chupacabra has to do with anything. Um, do they have goats that are being attacked? I don't know. Um, but uh, no no idea where it's going to go kind of from here. Um, last episode, um, we got like, you know, kind of like what Shane did. And that, well, actually, no, we didn't even get that. We got that. Or yeah, did we? I forget. Um, but uh, Shane... Lori and like this group went to like wells figured out there was a zombie in the well and they tried to get it out of there so they could still use the water in the well and they accidentally cut the zombie in half uh they were idiots because they tied it to a rusty metal pole the rope they used and they're just morons so whatever um daryl is on the hunt for sophia um he had a really nice moment with carol um really kind of showed more his kind of true colors um, Rick kind of, you know, talked with Herschel in the last one about like, hey, reconsider letting us stay here, please. Um, so we'll see kind of how that goes from there. I know they do stay on Herschel's farm for a while, but, um, Shane's an ass. <laughs> Shane's not really a great guy. He's unhinged. Um, he's going a little that shit crazy uh, on you. Um, so we're going to kind of see where it goes from there. I think he's just going to become more unhinged from here. You know, he's going to make more brash decisions and shit. Um, we'll, we'll see, though. Um, besides that, I really don't have anything. I guess we'll just get started. Oh, is this like the day that they abandoned all the cars there? I kind of like they're showing some like kind of flashbacks and stuff, too. It's they're seeing kind of the destruction of Atlanta. It didn't look that damaged when he was in the. They were in the city. Huh. <laughs> they're like dropping napalm on all these streets and stuff, apparently. But it didn't look like that at all in the city. That was that's a little bit of a continuity issue I kind of have there. I don't know. Like, see, even those streets, like they look fine. You're just having to say in like everywhere they happen to go didn't have any damage at all like I granted like it wouldn't destroy the roads but you would see burn marks all over the roads and shit and not to the extent that like I think the occasional rings will get rid of it there would still be a lot of shit burned like on like facades and stuff you know whatever <laughs> there's a sex drive like that's intercourse yeah, I, I realize that now I think what you did was more like a ground rule double what would a ground rule double be? As Shane has a very pessimistic outlook on life. You know? Because it says Michael Rooker's in this. I wonder if Merle saves him somehow. But then how would Merle be out in the middle of fucking nowhere here? You know? Ooh, he got an arrow. That's not good. And he's bleeding too. They're gonna smell him. I don't know if that works in this world or not, but I feel like zombies will. And he's thinking, "How the hell do I get?" Out? It looks like the same area he was in before, where he got into. And how to? So does that mean he only has one bolt for his crossbow? Because I think he only ever really had two on him. Especially not those two. Especially not. You haven't told him yet? My dad wants to talk to you. Dad? Is, is Herschel your dad? Or is it that other guy who wanted to join the thing? But he even looked too young. That girl looks like maybe like between 13 and 16, 17, I'd say. You know? I don't think she's little, but I'd say teens, somewhere in there. Oh, 
12 to 18 is the range I'd say is pretty comfortable. Oh, I wonder if he has like a flashback of Merle, and that's why Merle's in this episode. I'll control my people. You control, you control yours. Well, Jimmy came to them to ask, control your people then, Herschel. And Shane's gonna fucking train him. Yep. Yeah, I bet you this is a vision of Merle, and Merle isn't actually there. I want to know if Merle does come back. <laughs> like, I know he di he disappeared, like, but, like, does he come back at some point? I don't know. I don't know if Daryl really believes that, or if that's just, like, in his mind, his brother, like... You know, talking to him. The back of his mind, you know? Subconsciously. Drive that, yeah. Stick. What's that video of the guy? Stick. <laughs> Were you talking about nunchucks? Nunchucks. When you had, when you had, you had stick. Stick very good. I don't know if I would have gone that way. <laughs> and maybe Merle was at least a little bit of kick he needed to fucking get his ass in gear. And he just misses and it just fucking shoots off into fucking nowhere. This is like survival instincts kind of kick it in, I bet. He's super devout, isn't he? Don't make hard, is he? Yeah, he's super devout, and he's gonna be—he's pissed. I'm a little old for us to be having this stupid bitch. She's a stupid bitch. That's what she is. She's a stupid bitch. That's what she is. There's, she's a stupid fucking bitch. That's all she is—is is a stupid bitch. She's a stupid bitch. Oh my god. You got told like three times not to fucking shoot. Unconscious. It's a wonder you people have survived. Honestly. That's the truth. Honestly. They're morons. All of them. All of them. Literally. Like, none of these people are smart. Not a one of these people are smart. Daryl. 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 Granted, like, he didn't ask about the horse, but he's, you know, he just assumes a horse is a horse. I get it. But, like, Shane, Rick, Lori, Andrea, Dale has some common sense to him, but he doesn't act on much. All the rest of these people are morons. They're stupid. Zero survival skills. Zero survival instincts. No, fuck that, Dale. Fuck her. I, I would have cut ties with her back when the shit with her sister. We wouldn't have had that problem right there. Daryl will be fine. Well, minus him falling and shit, but he'd be fine. He wouldn't have gotten shot. It would have been like, oh shit, Daryl. Oh, you're okay here? Well, we shit, you got some cuts. Let's go get you geared up. <laughs> He's so abrasive. One of those. Not both of them. Oh no, Glenn. Oh no. Oh no. There are zombies in there, Glenn. Glenn's gonna figure it out and she's gonna rush to be like, don't go in there. Those are the family members that turned. I bet you those are the family members that turned. No doubt in my mind that those are the family members that turned. Those are the family members that turned. And I bet you it's some religious thing that he doesn't believe in, like, killing them. That's why he wants to take care of the walkers. Oh, yep. Yep. Yep, okay. So, yeah, so that's... The, okay. Okay, so, yeah, Daryl had, like, kind of, like, uh... That, one, that episode, like, it dragged from here and there, but there was some good stuff. Um, <laughs> Andrew discovers and Oh, wait, secrets. That's for the next episode. See, I'm reading it on X, and I thought that was for this episode. I was like, Andrew has learned a new skill. Sure. <laughs> um, let me back out so I don't accidentally read it while I'm looking around. Okay, good. Um, 
so Daryl had like a very big conflict, like subconsciously. He, you know, was battling with like, oh, do you trust Rick? Do you not? Like, you know, oh, his brother's still in his ear, the hateful son of a bitch that his brother is. Um, I want, like, I know he turns into a good guy because, like, I mean, I got like Walk Dead pulled up, and it's a picture of him like years later, and he's still part of the team. You know, he's still part of the team like later in the season, late in later seasons. Um. I wonder why. So, I like Daryl's arc so far. Shane is going off the deep end. <laughs> Shane is very much going off the deep end. Um, he's very much uh, going down dark, very pessimistic pathway. And I think that whole like Daryl had her doll, like, like pumped Rick up and like made Shane go like, "Fuck!" Now we're fucking stuck here longer. Mm, you know. Um, I bet you at some point Shane suggests to Rick of like just taking Herschel Herschel's land over, um, which honestly, like, if you're a scumbag and like willing to do that kind of stuff, it seems like they've been kind of Walker free, you know. And I wonder if like there it, like there's something to that, you know, because it seems like it's relatively safe, you know, Herschel's land, um, except for the zombies in the uh, uh, barn that I knew about. I've seen bits and pieces. My ex was really into The Walking Dead and watched it all the time. So I've seen snippets here and there. And I've seen a couple of episodes here and there, probably. Um, but I know about, like, that there were zombies in, in the in the barn. Um, yeah, so I wonder how, who all those zombies are. Because they even said, too, earlier in the episode that Herschel likes to take care of the zombies. Like, leave the, the, the walkers to Herschel. And he probably gets them in there. They probably wrangle them and get them in there, I bet. Um... I assume, like, because of how faith-driven he is, I bet that, like, it's some it's driven by that. Like, it's some sort of, like, these people need to repent or, you know, something. They need to do something and they can't die in this way. Um, you know, in, the, in, in his view of the Lord and stuff. Like, how he views his, you know, religious beliefs and whatnot. Not saying anything wrong with his beast, just saying, you know, that's what he probably feels and that's why he doesn't kill them. <laughs> um, not that he's a pacifist, but he you know, religious pacifism. Um, yeah. I bet you, like, so, I just know the one meme of, like, I saw one a while, like, and it's, like, of, like, Shane, like, almost confronting Herschel, like, walking towards him. And I wonder, like, what is his hair, what did his hair look like in that? Was he shaved or did he grow some back? Like, how, when is the time period for that, I wonder? I'm not going to look it up or anything. Um, if I happen to come across it, I happen to see it. but Because I know there's the meme of, like, um, uh, when HR asks what you guys want for your office, like, lunch, they're going to buy lunch for you. And you think uh, John and HR is an ant, so you, or an ant eater, so you suggest ants, and it's got a picture of Shane looking. I think it's around then. But I know there's the, the part where Shane goes, what the fuck is that? And he, like, closes the car door, and he starts, like, the camera, and he's, like, running towards it almost. I know that one, too. Yeah. I wonder what happens at Herschel's land. And I said, too, does Michael Rooker's character Merle come back? He came back in a flashback, but does he actually reappear in the show, I wonder? Like, the actual Merle. Because he got away, right? He did get away. He cauterized the hand. From what we know, he's still alive. <laughs> you know, maybe. Um, but, yeah, we'll have to see kind of what happens with Merle. Because I, I would like to see, like, uh, an end to that storyline. You know, an end. Like, you know, instead of just kind of leaving it open ended, like, ooh. Because I know they haven't really, I don't think they've done anything with that. Like, there's no, like, spin off that he's in, I don't think. Because there's, like, Fear the Walking Dead. Um, there's another one that came out around the same time. I forget what it's called, but it has, like, Terry Crews in it, I think. Um, and then there's those, like, two new ones, the ones the ones who live. And then there's that one with uh, Negan. Dead City or something, maybe? I don't know. Have to see. Because, uh, yeah, I would like that to be kind of, like, wrapped up at some point. Who knows if they will or not. Um, but I would like it. And I knew th I do know some things differ in this show versus, like, how the comics were written. Just, like, a lot of adaptations. There's, like, little changes you make, but... I wonder how much different it is if, if Shane's this ab kind of abrasive in the comics and whatnot, you know, or if like Shane maybe is different or if there is no, oh, he's no Shane. Yeah. Hmm. 
But yeah, I bet you Herschel's like some sort of it's some sort of religious thing with him in mind. I bet like he doesn't want them to die without being able to. Um, can I don't I I don't know that much about religion, but like some sort of repentance or like you know confessions or something. There's got to be something that he believes, I assume. And then Glenn's gonna have to deal with these two secrets. And honestly, like the one's not that big of a secret. Like, oh, she's pregnant, and got nine months to figure it out. <laughs> um, but uh, yeah, I mean, you know what? Not even thinking about that. That's gonna suck. Because like when she gives birth, like I assume when she gives birth, I bet you it's like some dire situation where there are walkers about and they have to keep quiet. And she starts going into labor right at that moment when she needs to shut the fuck up. <laughs> Not saying anything bad about Lori, just say, you know. And then it's like, shut up, shut up, shut up. <laughs> uh, like in a life or death situation, you know. And then babies would be so rough. Because like human babies, you can't shut them up. <laughs> you know, there's nothing you could really do. And uh, sorry if the color changes. Like uh, Netflix is like cycling through like, hey, you should watch this. Hey, you should watch this. And now it's on Wednesday. And it's kind of purpley. Um, but yeah, I wonder how that's going to play out too. Do not suggest me young Sheldon. I'm, I'm good. Um, yeah, that's about all I got. This so far, I do like season two more than I like season one so far. And like, I think season one only had like six or eight episodes. So we're at about the same mark we would have been for then. Um, I think this one has like 11 and then it's like 13 or so for all the following ones. I think something like that, 13 or 16. We'll see. All right. Well, that's all I have. Hope you have a good one. See ya.